What's up guys, Code Dean here. In this video, I'm gonna show you three places that you can go on Facebook to find prospects for your network marketing business. Now, best thing about this is this allows you to attract people to you without having to cold message anyone. I'm not a huge fan of cold messaging and Facebook actually puts cold messages, people that you're not friends with, into a separate part of the messenger. So a lot of times these cold messages are not even getting read. So there are some special ways to get in front of the right people in an automated way. So let's jump into it. That's what we're going to be talking about today. If you love network marketing, but you don't like talking to friends and family or cold messaging people, then this is the right channel for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, because that is what I talk about is how to use automation, how to use funnels, how to use systems and technology to grow your downline online. Let's jump into prospecting on Facebook and how to find people and prospects on Facebook. Now, before I get into number one, I recommend highly that you build out what I call a Facebook funnel. A couple years ago, there was a guy, he put out a course called the Social Media Leads Machine. And he was talking about how Facebook, everyone is going to your profile and you can actually turn your profile into kind of like a billboard. So what you want to do first off before we go into the three things is number one, in your cover photo, have some kind of information about what it is that you do, what problems that you solve, and, and then give people a reason to either follow you or friend you. And then you can even put in the description of the cover photo a little link so people can actually go into your funnel. That's not exactly what we'll be talking about today, but I have a lot of other videos about funnels as well. So basically what you do is you just make a little billboard here, so to speak. People will not see your cover photo unless they click on your name and click on your profile and then they'll be like, who is this person? And then they go over and then they're, they're like, oh, I'm interested in maybe something that you did, one of these three things that we'll be talking about. Then they'll actually go and be like, I, I wonder who this person is. They'll look at it and then they can start going down your funnel, okay? All right, number one is through Facebook groups. So you'll just simply go to Facebook, type in your niche, maybe it's supplements, type in supplements, maybe it's runners, type in runners, and you just go join all these groups. And I always say this for number one, to really get a feel for the room, see what people are doing. But also, you, if they allow, you can put out content into these groups. Now, the whole goal is to give a ton of value in these content. Um, some groups will allow it, some won't, but you just go out there, give two or three pieces of advice or content about a topic, about maybe about a supplement or about some kind of strategy or a way that you're using to solve a certain problem. And you do not do a call to action. You do not put your link. You do not ask people to DM you. You, don't, you do not do a call to action. Okay, there's one place where you do not do a call to action is in Facebook groups. The reason why is because you'll get booted out of the group, right? You want to be there to provide value, make the group engaging and make it worth the moderators, make them feel like you're part of the group and because you are, you're providing a ton of value. The goal here is when people read your post, they'll be like, wow, this person's really cool. They'll click on your profile and go into your Facebook funnel. And then they can start going and seeing like, oh, this person is all about supplements or they're all about whatever. And then you can get them into your face, your own Facebook group. You can get them into your funnel. You can give them a lead magnet, right? The other things that go along with sales funnels. Okay. So that's the first place is through group. I don't know why I started all the way over here, but number two is through gurus. Okay. So pretend like this little profile here is a guru's profile. You can actually see the number of thumbs up. You can see the likes. So say this person has 1 million followers. Okay. You can actually go on there and click on the followers or the likes and you can see and specifically on Facebook, you can see all of the people that you are currently friends with that follow this person as well. Same thing with groups. You can go into a group and be like, hey, look at all my friends that are also in this group. Now, whether or not you use that to cold message someone, you can, 
I'm not saying you can't. You could be like, hey, I saw you were in the, this group about runners. That's so awesome. We should go running sometime, right? And if it is something that you're really passionate about. Or jump roping. <laughs> I give those two examples all the time. But you can go and you can see who is in the group. And then you can see who's active by commenting. And what you can do is go and just friend request those people because they are like-minded. And when you friend request someone, again, they're going to go to your profile, see what you're all about. Even if they don't request keep your friend request or accept your friend request. At least they hit your website, <laughs> your your free funnel, Facebook funnel. And then eventually maybe they went down the, the funnel. Okay. So that's number two. Number three, through Facebook stories. And I didn't realize the power of Facebook stories until I saw one of my friends. He was putting out a coaching program around $2,000. And every single day he would just go and write three or four pages. It's kind of like a sales funnel, like having your stories it's like a free software, so to speak, that puts your information out there. So first page, uh, first story, you can just write some information, put a picture of you on there, write some a little bit of information about who it is, what you do. And then next story, you can continue it. Next story. And basically, this is like content, but it's going to be in a story form. And then on the fourth page, you put a little link. Now, cool thing about Instagram and Facebook, everyone has the ability right now to use the link. Instead of the swipe up feature, people have the link. You can just type it in a link of where you want people to go, put a little button on your story, you click it, and then it will take them away to the funnel, right? So you want to give a couple pieces of value, maybe talk about the problem, how you solve it, and then say, hey, join my Facebook group or join my thing or get my lead magnet, get into my funnel, okay? And that's through stories. That's for people that are currently already in your friend list, people that will see your stories. But if you're doing this where your content, you're talking putting out content in groups, people will friend request you. If you're putting out, if you're friend requesting people and, and liking people's posts that are in gurus, again, you're going to be building a following of, you can only have around 5,000 followers, but here's a little thing that's really cool that just changed. On Facebook, you can switch to a digital creator's account. And number one reason why this is cool is because you can do Facebook Reels and get paid for them. So I've made a couple thousand dollars off of Facebook Reels just from people watching them because they, they're trying to compete with TikTok. And so you can put out TikTok Reels, which allow people to follow you. Um, but then number two, it allows you to have more than 5,000 friends. It, I have like seven point one followers on Facebook right now, all because I made a viral reel that went out and pe a ton of people started following me because of that reel. So there's a couple ways. I didn't even add on the reels on here. What am I thinking that is like big news, big topic these days is through reels. So here's a couple of ways for you to find prospects on Facebook for your network marketing business. If you have any questions on these, exactly like how to do it, what kind of content to put out, um, what to put in your stories, comment down below and I'm happy to help guide you along further along in the process. And you guys go out, be great and create your freedom.